souls tear each other to pieces in the name of light, destiny, or darkness. Everywhere, heroes chosen by the gods gather their armies under banners bearing such symbols as the jackal, the griffin, the wolf, or the scorpion. These heroes accomplish valiant feats of arms, of faith, or magic. The Ivory Jews, to the north of the desert of the Sayahalna, have become a battlefield of the Ragnarok. The Griffin Army, from the Holy Lands of Akalani, is waging a merciless crusade against the devotees of the Scorpion and their alchemical beasts. New combat clones, the Mechasiatis, created by the perverted science of the Technomancers, decimate the ranks of the Griffin Templars. For the moment, Akalanian patrols sent into the desert are never seen again. The forces of darkness are about to secure a decisive victory in this corner of Arklash. From the outpost of his commandery at the gates of the Ivory Dunes, Sered, the commander of the Griffin Templars, has just entrusted a highly important mission to Darius. His finest op Darius must discover the source of the operation. He will be accompanied by Lothair the Inquisitor, Lanwis the Thalian, and Zelia the Pyromancer. Their goal is to find one of the secret underground laboratories where the Technomancers develop their clones. The frequency of Saiha attacks leads them to believe that a Scorpion laboratory is situated relatively close to the front line, so that enemy ranks can be easily replenished.
Understood. For the night! Straight away! At your service! For the temple! In the name of Lerin! Understood. The Inquisition is in motion. the 
light! At your service! A Saiha camp hides the entrance to laboratory number SO426. This is where the mission really begins for Darius, Lothair, Lanwis, and Zelia. For the night! In the name of Merit! Griffin God of Fire 